So today I went to Carbotech to get some Ray of Magnets for my Amplifier Mark 6. And as usual, as soon as I walked through the door, I was in front of the hand plane shelf looking at all these hand planes. Ranging from $100 to $450 and more. And soon mom actually came up to me and asked, Well out of all these fancy hand planes, if you had to pick one, which one would you like? And then I said, uh, It's probably gonna be this one. And in 5 minutes time, as if I was dreaming, I was actually walking out of the door with this hand plane. And the magnets as well. So now it's on my workbench. I think everything is a little bit more real. And I don't think I'm dreaming. Let's take the box apart and see what's inside. Oh yes, by the way, I'm not sponsored by Veritas or anything. Oh, it feels like Christmas. Oh yes, the gist of it. Oh wow, jeez, this looks better than the one on display. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm impressed. This is pretty much sharpened, even with the micro bevel one. Before I go sharpening the blade, I think I might just try it out just to see how sharp it is when it first comes in. I am generally really, really impressed. I haven't even sharpened the blade, I just put on some wax on the bottom, and that is basically it. And look at the shaving. Jeez, it's getting full whip shavings. Wow, even on end grain. Oh my god, that is some really impressive results. So before I can go and sharpen the blade on my plane, I'll have to make a sharpening stone pond for the water stone because that needs to be kept in water. So since I don't have a piece of wood wide enough to make up the sides, I am going to glue two smaller pieces of wood. Wow, I am most definitely going to use this plane for a shaving contest. So the reason why I'm using box joints is because it's going to form a waterproof joint much easier than any other joint. So when a water is poured into this box, the wood is going to want to swell up. And once it swells up, the fingers are going to close up really tightly and that's going to naturally create a watertight seal. I am using my hand plane to clean up the box.
then marking its position before I lose it. So the sharpening pond is something like this. There's beams over top, like so, and then there's going to be water underneath. The sharpening stones are going to rest on top of the beams with two pieces of wood on both ends. Now I have to cut the notches into these pieces of wood so that I can stop these beams from moving sideways. So now with the notches cut, the beams kind of go on like so. And they should be fairly loose. So to allow wood movement. And then the stone just rests on like that. And with blocks of wood on either end to secure it down. And these blocks of wood are fairly complicated as you can see they have a square hole cut in the middle of them so i'm going to drill a hole first and then chisel it out For the wedge, I am just going to use some scrap pieces of plywood. And now I'll have to cut a slot in the moving door for the wedges to fit in. So it turned out the wing nut and the bolt configuration wasn't actually strong enough to hold the jaws in place and it just slipped when I pulled the can backwards. So now with screws I'm going to try it again and this time with a piece of MDF at the moving jaw to help reduce wear on the wedge. Oh, so that kind of worked, whoops, no more. The jaws kept slipping so I added an extra screw to reinforce it. Yeah, looks like the cam isn't gonna work. I'll probably have to use a threaded rod then. I made three more and instead of using my <coughs> amazing hand tool skills, I just used a table saw to cut the slot out and that worked out really good. And now I've got to drill the hole for the bolt to go through and also tap it as well.
Hmm, seems to work. And then I can make the clamping pad and the handle for the threaded rod. I'm gluing in some blocks of wood to help reinforce the ends to prevent it from splitting. So yesterday my camera died when I was trying to put on the first coat of varnish on. So now I'm going to put on the second. So far no leaks, so that's a start. And I probably need more water as well because it seems just a bit too shallow. So I've set up a piece of glass and I've got some soap in the pond to help with the lubricant and now I've got my Veritas blade from my Veritas plane and I've set it up in a sharpening guide, a honing guide and now I'm ready to go.